Stop the show, gang. Let's talk about that middle class famous tour, baby. Oh, baby. Coming up to the fourth quarter on that. Woo! Down to the finish line. Only a few times to see us, Woo! gang. Woo! Gang, it's a good time. Come on out and see the live show. It's a mix of stand-up comedy. Mm-hmm. Plus, we play a little AYG with the crowd. It's a great way to introduce new people to the show. So bring the squad with you. Yeah, gang. This week, we're going to be... We have one show left on sale in Atlanta on uh, November 12th. And we're going over there to Charlotte, North Carolina. Woo! Uh, Philadelphia sold out. You snooze, you lose. We got some tickets left for the second show in Providence, Rhode Island in December. And we got some a few tickets left. For our second show in Boston in December, get yeah. those tickies. Let's party. Gang, this episode is brought to you by our good friends at Established Titles. With Established Titles, you could buy as little as one square foot of dedicated land, and you could start calling yourself a lord or a lady. I'm a lady kind of guy. Yeah. Hachi machi. Nothing wrong with it, get me. With every order, Established Titles plants a tree and works with global charities to support global reforestation look at, efforts. Look at that, huh? Let's go. Why not? Title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland. Good Lord. And you get a certificate with the crest on it. Boom, right there. Hit it. Uh, it's an amazing last minute gift. Uh, it's not a gag gift. It's cool. It's fun. Don't be giving people stars. Give them this. This is Make somebody a landowner, baby. Established Titles is running a Black Friday sale right now. Plus, if you use the code GARBAGE, you'll get an additional 10% off that off the top. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash GARBAGE to get your gifts now and help support the show, baby. EstablishedTitles.com slash GARBAGE. Do it. Right, mate. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Uh, It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grew up to be classy, Mm -hmm. or if they're just a big old (laughs) piece of trash that almost got me. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. She is... Around here somewhere. Okay. <laughs> my co-host is coming at oh, you. Man. <laughs> what is there a writer's strike or something? <laughs> Listen, I go for a laugh. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I get on base. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? Forget about all that, though. He's my best pal in the whole wide world, and I love him. Give it up for KJ. Kevin James. <laughs> hey, you got a goofy one off the, out, out the gates today, Daddy O. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I got to give you the spiel. Make sure you rate, review, subscribe over there on iTunes. Do that for us. Uh, full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are. Trudor out. Garbage. Check that shit out. Subscribe over there. Do us a solid. Uh, and then obviously, uh, Patreon.com, mm-hmm. the greatest goddamn website of all. Mother, mother, effing time. You sign up, you get bonus episodes of AYG every week. If you're on a $10 level... Get the hard feelings. You get the hard feelings, which, I gotta be honest with it, is the moneymaker to run away hit. That's what the people want. That's what the people love. It's, it's a, a good, good time. It's a good show. It's a behind the scenes. It's the HR. It's mm-hmm. us screaming at each other. People we like it. We're having to listen. We're not selling it. We're having a good time over there. Do yourself a no, favor. No, we're selling it. That's <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to the fatty. We're selling this thing, all right? <laughs> we're having a good time over there is the point. Get over there and check it out. It's a good time on that beach. Check there. it the fuck out. We got a whole shit ton of content. We got uh, for the $20 level, we're doing a bunch of vlog stuff. Uh, we're on the road with Burke Kreischer. That one's dropping soon. Us Ooh. on the road, me and you in the gym. They got a whole Ooh. lot of stuff we got cooking out there. Check it the fuck out, gang. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer, Extraordinaire. The magic man makes us all look good. He works the ones and twos, and he crosses the T's, and he dots the I's. Someone's got to reboot you. <laughs> he may be doing some defibrillating in a couple of seconds here, because I think I'm having uh, amalgamations. Give it up for Tebow McMuffin, Toby McMullen. What's up, dudes? What's up? Oh, man, this is going to ruin the episode, because Foley's going to spiral. But last night at dinner, my mom goes, he's out of Antony jokes, huh? Oh, <laughs> like that. Cindy, you ain't lying. If you got any, hit me up. <laughs> My DMs are open. For professional purposes. <laughs> and wieners. <laughs> I'll take a wiener. Uh, I don't think amalgamation was the word, it's right? For sure wasn't. <laughs> Palpitation uh, is what I wanted to say. Okay, Dalmatian was what I wanted to say. <laughs> I don't like Dalmatians. Uh, 
Yeah. Not that I don't like them. I, they, they're a little snippy. They look. I think they are inherently nasty. Yeah, nasty is the word. Yeah. Real. Yeah. Uh, snappy. Don't listen to that that dog on Paw Patrol. <laughs> they ain't all sweet like you. Paw him. Patrol. Paw Patrol. Not a bad show. Uh, listen, I was just singing the theme song until I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, hit the lights. <laughs> we put it on for the cat when we leave. We put it on like a kid's network. Yeah, that's what something. you want to scare the shit out of it. Dogs <laughs> hate cats, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Hawks eat squirrels. <laughs> um, I got one for you because I know. Uh, <laughs> what do you got, Kip? Uh, the other day, went out to a nice little town uh, outside of New York City. Uh, Did you? Rye, New York. Ah, I know it well. Couple of bucks up there. Couple too. of dollars. Couple of doll hairs. I know the guy that used to own the whole thing. Rye bread. I mean, I <laughs> <laughs> made a shitload in pumpernickel. <laughs> <laughs> no, we toured um, a farm or uh, not really a plantation, but okay, they weren't paying minimum wage. Let me put it to you that way. <laughs> they weren't unionized. Yeah, I don't know what you would call it, but he, the guy that owned that, owned all of that. All that at like, some point. Almost all, all of Westchester at mm. some point. Wild. Johnny Westchester. And he was still working. <laughs> Yeah, Wasn't on Moonlight and Canoes back then. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. Wait, how, you met him? I didn't meet him. I, we went and toured the, the facility, okay. his house. Sounds like you were casing the joint, to be honest with you. <laughs> Where were you the night of October 12th is what I want to know. I was at Sleepy Hollow having dinner with my kid. <laughs> the Headless Horseman. <laughs> Ask him. He'll, he'll, he'll back me up <laughs> if you can find him. Hey, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Shout out to Icky Sticky. Woo! Oh. That kid knew when to get out of town. <laughs> get what it getting's good. I never liked that shit when I was a kid. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know if I ever told nope. you that. <laughs> I don't care who was playing it. Scooby, fucking Goofy, Mickey, I don't care. We did uh Kick rocks uh, with that. We did uh, he was the headless horseman, right? Who? Icky Icky? No. Ichabod Ick- Crane was the headless horseman. Ichabod Ick- Crane was the school teacher. I'm was <laughs> Ichabod Crane was like the guy that was scared. The guy that, that the headless horseman oh, tormented. Oh. It was his story. Gotcha. He worked in the city and got sent up to Sleepy Hollow to work up there. Gotcha. Well But I think in the Tim Burton movie he's a detective, Johnny Depp. Dude, the detect- the headless horseman's name is Abraham Van Brunt. Yeah, he was a Hessian soldier. <laughs> he was a Hessian soldier. Um I, I we we did a uh fucking uh, haunted hayride as a kid and I don't know how they did it or who it was the neighborhood organized it like my neighbor did That's he awesome. got like he, he had like a big fucking not like a tow truck but like a big uh, construction like st- uh, truck and we all got in the back of it and he drove us through scary shit the headless person drove a bobcat dude <laughs> <laughs> he had the big rat out front <laughs> now you <use> can't leave <laughs> So they had, I don't know, I still can't do the math of where the fuck he took us. Because it was like in the neighborhood. I don't know how they did it. But you looked up on a hill and a guy ran up on a horse with no, like he, I guess he had a shirt like over his head. You know what I mean? He had like a big shirt over his head and he was like looking. But you, and he, dude, as like a six year old, there was a for sure nope. headless dude. I remember looking at my mom like, let's call an Uber. Let's get me the fuck out of here. This shit is dicey. Nah, I don't like that it's at all. It's just a mechanic Still, and football pads. Yeah. Well, you can <laughs> kind of. Yeah, like the, you can always, as a kid, I would always go like, oh, I can see you can the smell the Miller Lite coming down the hill. <laughs> Anybody got a light? <laughs> Jesus Christ, think about <laughs> If you smell Coors Light and breath mints and cigarettes, run. <laughs> Mm. He's jammed up at a checkpoint somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, let me see your license registration and head, please. <laughs> Icky! <laughs> uh, Boscov's when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Boscov's. We haven't seen each other in a couple of days. Shout out to Boscov's and giggies. Wolfsbury. They used to put on a show. <laughs> they would bring you down there at Halloween after you did all your candy and all that stuff. And you go down there, and uh, just right in the middle of the street, from one building to another, they would do like this little little shitty production. 
But they would have some broad up on the roof with uh, wearing a witch's costume, and uh-huh. then they would send a dummy across on oh, a wire. Yeah, that now, was, you didn't know that no, when you were a kid. That was big in the 80s. A dummy? Ooh. A scarecrow on a zip line? Well, fuck you up. And then they'd have another broad on the other side <laughs> of the... Oh, dude. <laughs> Nope. Uh huh. Well, I don't care how many Kit Kats you got. I'm <laughs> out of I didn't like that shit. The winging Cadbury eggs. I used to wait in the car with it running. I didn't like that shit at all. Huh, dude, so we're up there. I don't we- like witches. Nah, because they're. Yeah. I'll fight a ghost. I don't like witches. Nah, you can't punch a ghost. Um, witches are scary, though. Mm. So we're we go to this thing and they have like uh we just go uh we're like walking to go to stroll through town and it happens to be up and ride up and ride we're back to present day present day gotcha everybody's got their head on them mm-hmm. so we get up there it's nice up there took the dog there's a beach you can take the dogs on turns into a dog park in the winter it's a uh-huh. good time runs around a little Hansi Ponzi in the water it's a scene you know send your pics um. So we're like, oh, let's go get lunch or whatever. So we get over there and like the main street, you know how all those towns have main streets? Yeah. You know what I mean? So we get over there to the main street and uh, it's blocked off. They're doing their like uh, holiday, you know, uh, Halloween thing for the kids or whatever. Mm -hmm. They paint. There's like, you know, a little bake sale. Like all all just, you know, nice little street blocked off. And those bake sales are all right. They have. Get your uh, hands on Lemon Square. They have a they have a band there, you know, as entertainment. And it's. A co- they have a cover band of like local dads, not like cool spooky songs. You would think dude, they were they were really reliving the glory days, dude. They were playing like smoke on the water and shit. <laughs> I'm like, what the dude? They, I mean, these guys were tra- ghosts <laughs> on the water. <laughs> Juicy's on a vacation, family. Oh man, Jesus. these guys. I know, I know. You don't like cover bands. Uh-uh. It's and like, I do like a nice cover band, but this was just if they can, ki- if they're killing it. This was depressing, uh. dude. It was. They were fucking. I mean, they had the pedal set up. The guy had like the wow wow for the Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, the voice bot, the talk box or whatever. Living on a prayer. <laughs> Get back to work, will you? No. <laughs> Your break ended an hour ago, Steve. It was <laughs> it was tough, man. And then there was two guys. I don't know if they were roadies or whatever, but they're the only ones in the audience. They were going, well, rock on. Yeah. Couple of air guitars. It was a sad, sad yeah, it just, it's for the kids. <laughs> that's what I that's what I was. These guys were treating like it was fucking Woodstock. These kids don't want to see sticks. What are we I doing know. here? It was bad, dude. It Get was, somebody up there playing like, uh, you it know. It was trashy. Trashy for sure. Spooky songs. They're all in cargo shore. It's like real, real dad. Reliving. Monster Mash. That's what they should be up there playing. Play play Monster Mash. Get a, a DJ. Of Get a DJ. Paw Patrol song. The whole night for the kids. There you He's, go. These guys are over there fucking smoking Chiba before they go on. It was, <laughs> it was. I was so embarrassed, dude. Mm. Yeah, it was a tough one. That's a tough look. That's a nice time though in the fall there. It's nice. Yeah, sure. Go up there. I like it up there. Not yeah, too bad. I was thinking about this. This somebody we were looking about moving up there. I was. No, I was. You were talking about it. Yeah. That day or just in general? Just in general. Really? You need about a cool three mil to get Ooh. anything. Dude, that is a price. Patreon.com. <laughs> you forget that. I mean, like, you know, we grew up in the suburbs of, of, of Philly. So it's like that. those are the, you know, these are the richest people in the, you know, some of the richest people in the world live there. Sure. You know what I mean? Because you have like all these investment bankers and shit. And it's like, where did like... <laughs> I grew up with like construction workers, like people who sure. own like roofing companies sure. and stuff like that. That was like the suburbs. the land was cheap back then. It was getting developed and stuff like that. It was starting to push out from the city a little bit. Get a decent mortgage. You know, you put twenty, thirty down, whatever. Mm-hmm. Make some payments each how month. Do people have that money. Whatever. I don't know. We go over this a lot. I don't understand how people say. I money. know how my mom and dad did it. Smoke and mirrors. <laughs> yeah, Fucking yeah, refinance, yeah. refinance, couple of refinance. Forged, a couple of forged pay stubs. Woo, you hey. don't know what was going on. Yeah, working for ABC oh, contracting man. and stuff like that. Shout out. Always to refinancing. A yeah. little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little credit card here, a little bit of this. She really made. They really made it work. They little know what they're doing. Dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but all right, let's get into it. This is a goddamn family episode, gang. Yes, it is, gang. As you know, when you sign up for the old Patreon, <laughs> there you get a question read on the air. On the air. 
You bit, choose. You choose. Bit of a backlog. Shout out to Paul Versey. A uh, bit of a backlog, but it's the best way to do it. Mm-hmm. And Kevin will do that for you right now. I don't like when you do it that <laughs> way. <laughs> All right, let's go. This one's from Backstage Jimmy. What up, James? Are you garbage if your family rents a limo to ride to your grandpa's funeral? Bonus points. It's of a Hummer limo because that's all they have. Ooh, that's a tough look. Do you showing up in a yellow Hummer with spinners <laughs> to, bur- to bury Pop Pop? Hot tub in the back. <laughs> we ixnate. We 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 ixnate that for my dad's funeral. What? We don't want to do the limo. What'd you guys do? You typically get the nice limo, not the. I mean that's wild. Yeah, no, you, but they have a diff. There's a there's. They, a, I assume they were. There's in a the funeral. Procession. Li- there's a funeral limo. Right, it's a little bit classier. It's a little bit classier. It's yeah. not like prom hookers and coke. Yeah, I just didn't. I mean, that would have been cool, but uh, I just didn't. I don't know. I didn't feel right about it. Mm-hmm. Plus, coincidentally, me and my brother each have black cars. It's a Jeep. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, you know what I mean. It's, it's still black, so it all it all kind of meshed in. Matched in. I don't know. Plus, saved a couple of bucks yeah, there. Right. You want what? I got a car. <laughs> <laughs> Is that for the driver? I'll drive it. Would have been pissed if it wasn't a Hummer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Plus, and I thought about my fat ass getting in and out of that's that. That's what limo. it was. They suck. That's why you ex. They it. suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Climbing out of that thing. I feel like Farley. <laughs> I can dig in my way out of the window. Um. Yeah, that's yeah, a tough look. That's man. tough. Um. This one's from Anthony Monaco. Ten dollar homie. Hey, Shout yeah. out. Haven't had one read. Is it garbage if you consider your security deposit part of your net worth? Yes, and you sh- it no, should. You should. And it's you a sh- savings account, essentially. I consider that the last month's rent as well. That's Which, that's trashy. That's on. That's that's place to place, really. No, it shouldn't be that. Sure, it should. I'm not waiting six weeks after I get my. I new I think place. it's thirty days, isn't it? Get out of here. Thirty days, schmerdy days. Listen. That's the rent. I'll see you later. I'll drop the keys off in 29 days, mm-hmm. and I'll be out of your hair. I've always done that to the to, to the unhappiness of my landlord. Sure, yeah, no one's thrilled about that. But the place because is fine. Come be, in, and, come in and look at the place. But I get, there's got to be some sort of thing because I think a lot of times I don't know if New I, I don't think New York does, but I think that money's got to go in escrow. In some I don't st- know what that means. Uh, Makes me hungry every time somebody says it. Though. Some escrow go. Um, I I don't know. I'm sure there's. It creates a little bit of a headache and paperwork for them. Of they can't just take that money on the first of the last month, right? They own the building. They got it. Whenever they you get, don't know. They got they got to make fucking mortgage pay. You don't know. Whenever they pull it out, then then they have it. That's not my. Listen, their banking isn't my business. I'm out of the contract. No, you're not. Sure I am. No, you stiffed them on a month's rent. No, I didn't. Happened. Yeah, you did. I'm not getting the deposit back. It all evens out. Yeah, but that's out. not what the security deposit is for. You can you come in and take a look at the place and make sure it's okay. But the rent's due on the first of the month. Sure. So you're living there without paying rent for 31 days, and then you move out. So come in. And then go, hey, you can take the money I owed you 30 days ago in another 30 days. Hey, man, it's the price of doing business. I don't know what you, <laughs> you blood suckers. <laughs> you got to spend money to make money. You know what I'm talking about, T-Bone? Um, Heard that. Yeah. Come I, in and take a look at the place. That's if I know I didn't do anything to it. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, slip the check out of the door. Yeah. <laughs> and we, I, I, I'd have some spackling to do, I'll tell you that. My, uh, I've, I've said before, my... But they redo the place anyway. It doesn't matter. Most of the time when you go out, they come in and they spackle and they paint and they clean. Yeah, they have to. Yeah. So? <laughs> Sayonara. Yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is, you're going a real long way just to say you're a dirtbag. You're stiffing the <laughs> landlord the last month. Which, I, I, hey, you know, it is what it is. I'm not judging you for it. Sure. But don't try to fucking, don't try to church it up. You're stiffing them. Burn the bridge on your way out the door. <laughs> what are you doing? I did that. My, uh, I, I used to rent. I rented it. Me and my friend rented a condo off. My stepdad had a rental property, and against his better judgment, he rented it to us. And uh, for rightfully so, we f- fucked it up pretty bad. Really? We were 22, 23. Four loco had just hit. Ooh. <laughs> shout out to, shout out to Pat. It was a glorious time. Man, a red four loco. FD, it was like it, it was like somebody shot it with a fifty cal bullet, dude. This thing exploded all over the walls. Whatever. So After he, a night of drinking, so he kept my security deposit. My stepdad did. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about playing hardball, but never issued anything of like, hey, like. And I thought I think the security deposit was twelve hundred bucks or whatever the rent was, a thousand bucks. 
And I thought I was like, hey, it's going to be 500 to fix the carpets. But, like, you still owe me 500. So he was just, yeah, he was like, dude, fuck you. I'm just keeping the whole thing. And I remember yelling. I'm like, you owe me. With the guy. Like, I, like, Googled the law or whatever. And, like, I quoted, like, you know, section three of the of the penal code Haskin on Haskin versus Robbins, <laughs> <Yeah>. 1893. <laughs> just, I'm like, you have 30 days to provide me a written detailed docket of all things. My and mom. the horses are not to be tied up on Main Street. <laughs> exactly. A couple good, of horse thieves. Goodwill Baldy over they here. sent me to my room. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, how about that movement? Love that movement, baby. Ooh, talk about starting a movement. Movement is starting a movement, gang, since day one. Movement is always shaking things up. Mm-hmm. If you want to get a top quality watch at a fucking discount price, do yourself a favor. Get over to movement. From day one, they've been shaking up the industry. Yeah, guys, uh, you can stand out with movement watches, eyewear, and more during their Black Friday seasonal sale, baby, with a discount you can't miss. You don't want to miss this, and you don't have to wait in line like a bozo. They were nice enough. They sent us the the blue the 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 blue blocking lens glasses. They sent me a watch, and now got me got me into the watch game. I love it. I got a tight watch. I went I flex out, on people. I went out and bought an expensive watch. My wife don't even like that one. She likes the movement. That looks go. good. It's good quality. There you go. I don't love that, baby. Um, timeless timekeeping with an, with a fresh look. Movements designs come in countless styles for every occasion. Shop with confidence and enjoy twenty four month warranty, free shipping, and free returns on orders over fifty dollars. Uh, here we go, baby. Here's the turkey. Be a good gifter with movement during Black Friday sale. Get a special twenty five percent off site wide with code BF two five. Just in time for the holidays, join the movement today at MVMT.com. That's MVMT.com. Do it. Kim, let's talk about Helix Mattress, baby. You mean Helix Mattress, the best in the goddamn let's biz? Let's talk about Helix. You don't got to wait in line over there at the mattress store. You take the quiz on a website there. They mm-hmm. let you know how you like to sleep. Sure. Then they give you a mattress perfectly designed for you. Yeah, take two-minute sleep quiz. I took it. Me and the bird got teamed up with the Twilight model edition and baby Sexy. let me tell you that i jerk off in it today as i did with the dog in there too oh my god hachi machi uh you'll love uh you'll love helix mattress but don't take our word for it they offer a hundred night risk-free trial try out your new helix mattress see how your body adjusts and if you decide it's not the best fit uh you will Ship get it a back. full refund baby everybody's unique everybody's it. sleeping is different so why would you sleep on something uh, why would you sleep on a cookie cutter mattress you don't want to do it take something that's good for you uh plus helix mattresses are american made and come with a 10 or 15 year warranty depending on the model don't want to take my word for it helix has been awarded the number one mattress picked by gq and wired magazine baby now here is the turkey helix is offering up to 200 dollars off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners go to helix sleep Dot com slash garbage with Helix. Better sleep starts now. Do it. Took my four loco. Oh, man. Who the cherry ones? They'd get you. <sighs> Those things came in. That was worse than the fucking. The pill epidemic. The pill, the pill well, they kind of went hand in hand. <laughs> they did. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they did. I like a Red Bull and vodka and a Perkinoodle. <laughs> to be honest with you. Get your head up. See up. your eyes roll back in Woo! your head. Look like a Vegas slot machine. Man, dude. A couple of those, it was always Christmas. Tell you that. <laughs> Foley's eyes are spinning. Pinpoint, pinpoint, pinpoint. <laughs> um, all right, this one's from Bozo. Bozer, some, Bozer, Bozo, Bozerferson. Um, I like that. Have you ever played air guitar on a pool stick? <laughs> yeah. Some of my best work. <laughs> love the pool stick. At least uh-huh. I love playing with the pool stick. Take it apart. It's terrible. Those pool. were big. Take, take it apart. I mean, not everybody had to take a parter. The rake, too. Playing with the rake, too. I had no idea. It's not what a that rake. Was. It's a bridge, I believe, is the name of Whatever. it. Whatever. The rake. It's not a craps table, you idiot. <laughs> oh, snake eyes. That and the chalk. chalk Put your was, finger in there. Oh, man, it makes my blood run cold. The chalk was a good time. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we never had a pool table. A couple of buddies did. Yeah, neither did we. It was always at a friend's house. Yeah, a couple of buddies. Something my, was always missing, too. You were either missing a ball, the Cuba, fucking triangle yeah, yeah, yeah. was broke. Yeah, all you had was the little stick. It the, was always a tough The little one. stick? Yeah, there's a, they, the little stick comes with the set for when you're in a corner. That's what you use the bridge with. No, the bridge you use with a regular... I think, Toby, give that a Google. No. I, I, think the, I, I think a full... The bridge is also known as the ladies' stick or something. No. Yeah, you're like a real, a true, true player is not supposed to use it unless you're, a, you know... Hmm. Bit of a pansy, I think the word is. I think I I thought a full uh, 
cue stick set came with a little that's one what, too. That's from Seinfeld, you idiot. The maestro's fucking No, that thing was or... the thing. There is an actual small cue, a small stick that you use when you're in a tight corner. No, when you're in a tight corner, you go up with it and pop them down. Anything? I, I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you're, you're small just... pool stick. Okay. Pool uh, cue. Pool stick set. Okay, okay. Not pool noodles. <laughs> I was like, is this about the bridge or the little stick? I missed the whole pool noodles thing. That was that was after my time. It, yeah, you just get regular ones. You'd have to like special order a little guy. Oh, yeah. really? Huh. You're for sure thinking of that scene in Seinfeld. No, no, no. I remember my friend had one. I've seen them at bars where there's little ones. Yeah, it's generally for a poorly placed table. Yeah. Really? But they do make them. Well, then why can't he find them? I don't know. This whole thing's fishy. No. Maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. You think you know better than Google? Possibly. Okay. But I do like a little air guitar, one of those things. They were our, A broom was the best. A yeah, broom, we had you, a good bass. A broom, you were stopping the show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you doing finger exercises? Oh. Yeah, yeah, short cues for every room size. See, there you go. Thank you. That's whack. Thank you. That's fuck. Get out of here. You owe me an apology. Never. And $300. <laughs> <laughs> um, Foley versus Ryan. <laughs> All right, this one's from Thomas. Uh, $50 homie here is there a garbage to lie about the tier of your Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> that's just a good time right there. $800 homie here. <laughs> that is, that's what I laughed at earlier. I was like, I was like, oh, that's a fun one. Shout out to Because I had the same reason. I'm like, $50? Oh, you got me. That's a good time. Shout right out there. to it. Um, all right, this is from Wizard. Is it garbage to bring a first date to a gun range? It depends where you live. I mean, that kind of could be like a thing. I guess, yeah, if you're like right? more country folk, you know? Yeah. Your shooters. A lot of camo involved in that relationship, I presume. Let's her, let, let's her know you're a man. If uh-huh. you got your own piece, a hunting rifle or whatever it is. That's got to be tough if she takes you and you are not a, you're not a, you're not a marksman. Mm-mm. And you're like, yeah, I gotta, you got the rental gun or whatever. <laughs> That's, you're in the rental skates. <laughs> That's a tough look. You know who's a terrible shot? Who? Uncle Hank. You're bad? Oh, man. We never... Give me the Uzi. <laughs> <laughs> You're every bad guy in the 80s? Oh, man. Spray Give me the, the Uzi or the shotgun. I'm a shotgun man. Uh, Terrible. I don't know if I've ever really shot at anything. Mm-hmm. You know, we were just like shooting into the, like the, wa- the woods and you the water. You didn't shoot at stuff. cans or anything like that? It wasn't the fucking wild, wild west. No. BB gun, I'm okay. We used to. My, yeah, you can't really gauge that, though. We used to hang out at my boy Mike Dalvecchio's in college. Uh-huh. We'd go over to his place. He was he was boys with my with my one boy. We'd go over and we'd spend hours over there just boozing, smoking doobies, and just shooting the cans in his backyard. Uh-huh. Like just taking turns. It was awesome. My boy, uh, all my, my, my boys that went to Drexel, uh, they had like a mouse or rat. There's a there's a lot of Jesus. a lot of live creatures like squirrels and stuff Aww. in their house. Squirrels in their house. It was a, it was a bad property. Oh my uh, god! <laughs> Keep that security deposit. Oh man, <laughs> you should do that. Basement was like they they shut it one time. It was like all right, just locked away. Really? Was whatever was going on, there's a whole ecosystem <laughs> down there. It was bad. Yikes! But they would shoot. They had BB guns and they would shoot the mice. Aww. The mice. Aww. No mice. No miceies. I only they a- carry disease. They started the fucking bubonic plague. No, they proved that wasn't them. It was guinea pigs. Yes, guinea pigs. Yeah. I blow Close one enough of them. Close enough the mice. <laughs> blow one of right? them away. It wasn't dogs, all right? <laughs> no, I couldn't hurt a guinea pig. I only have one body on me. You say that like I have been hurting guinea pigs. Uh, I only have one body on me. me. I just want fucking wing one. A bunny. We shot a bunny in the backyard with a, with a BB gun. We, we kept, say this like as a family, you did this. No, it was me, my brother. And- <laughs> we shot him. We went outside. It was, showed up with dark chocolate. It was in the cage, but, you know. Wait, why? The I, Easter Bunny, healthy snacks. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, no, it was me. 90% cacao. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you remember those? Dog life. Remember those hollow bunnies at Easter back in the day? Those things suck. Oh, I like those. Ugh. Biting an ear on that? Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solid or nothing. No, but they were big. That was the thing. Yeah, they were, they were mo- real shitty could- chocolate that was like eating wax. Who cares? 
years. I ate that right after I ate the peeps. And if I was eating peeps, you know, I was in a bad way. It might as well have been vegetables <laughs> to me. <laughs> peeps fucking kick sucks, rocks, dude. With those pieces of I shit. had one once, and I looked. I remember looking at my mom and go, these never end up in a basket <laughs> ever again. Don't even bring them in the house. I don't care where you got them. Take them away. Get them out of here. Give her a slap. She, she, take this she ends up hanging in a meat truck with fucking Tommy Carbone, <laughs> that one. Fucking bringing peeps around. Now, my cousin had gotten a BB gun, and we thought we were tough guys, and we went out, and we were, like, you know, just shooting at whatever, and then, hey, there's a rabbit, and we shot it, and we kept missing, and I hit it, but didn't didn't kill it, and then we had to go up and fucking put it out of its misery. We were such uh, little little, <laughs> little girls about it. Yeah, yeah, We yeah. ended up burying it. We stood around. We said a prayer and stuff like that. Never touched a rifle again. That was it. Put it in the I was done killing. File off, the, file off the serial number. Throw it in the water. <laughs> It's haunted me ever since, Toby. We hit up, we lit up a snake one time. We got a semi-automatic handgun Jeez. where you just had to like a real one. No, oh, no, 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 a BB say. gun. Um, and you just had to like it had a trigger on the back handle, like a button where like you had to like squeeze hard enough, and then you could just and it had like a clip you would put like sixteen or whatever you know twenty BBs in. Pellets or BBs? BBs. Pellet guns were like trikes. They, they were like a lore of the 80s. You couldn't get your hands on pellet guns or trikes. I knew a kid that had one. I remember, I remember him, it was my brother's friends, and he got underneath the car, and there was a kid riding a 10-speed down our street, and he lit him up while he was driving. They would get, like, in your skin. Dude, he fucked No, this, pellets were bad. Fucked yeah. this kid up yeah. right in the ankle. It's got to still be in him. Yeah, that, that was the big thing. Everybody knew somebody with a BB in him. Like, sure. You feel that? Yanni still has a bullet in him. Jesus. Yeah. Yanni P? Mm-hmm. Got lit up. God. It was back when he was banging in the clubs. Shout out to Yanni P. <laughs> I think it grew out, actually, and he had to go in and get it. Comes it, out? Yeah, like a, your body will ultimately reject it. I have it. a piece of pencil on my pinky. Mm -hmm. So I'm all scarred up, too. I know how it is. Uh, but, fuck, what was I going to say? Oh, you so were this, murdering an innocent snake. Not, first of all, there's no such thing as an innocent snake. <laughs> <laughs> They're devil's creatures. Okay? That I'll give you. <laughs> Get out of here, baby. No way. Ooh, the New Testament. Have you read the Bible? What are we doing? <laughs> the New Testament does not look at them favorably. No. Um, and we were walking by, and uh, I don't know, it was my brother? Or I forget. I just remember fucking this snake. We were walking by. We had this pond by my dad's house, and uh, it like. That's like, all it took. Yeah, and I think it's my brother, maybe. Just went. Pfft. Like and just hit him up and like laced this thing with like six BBs. Ooh. Yeah, buried it. Had a funeral. Did you really? No, we got uh, rented a Hummer limo too. <laughs> no, nah, we buried the rabbit. Every time I walk by it, I look at it and think about that poor rabbit. Yeah, it sucks, but you know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We were kids. We made um, some mistakes. But then we went to an actual shooting range when I was I don't know probably with your family. No. Or friends. I don't know. <laughs> you keep ball. saying we. I don't know. I wasn't alone. And I don't know how many friends you had growing up, so I just assume it's your family. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my aunt. No, my buddy who was in the Army took us to an outdoor shooting range. He had the M AR-15 and a handgun. I was terrible shooting that little, that little, um, what are the little red, the little red things? Little clay johns, whatever they're called. Oh, like skeet shooting? He, they didn't throw them up. We just set them up against the hill. Yeah. We should go skeet shooting. That should be a... What, a shotgun? Yeah. got to have cash to do that, don't you? I think we're doing all right. Yeah? Pretty cool. I feel like it's easy, though. Everybody I know goes, like, I shot nine out of ten. It's like, it's got to be not that hard. You're spraying with your, you're shooting with a buckshot. You're not shooting 22s. No. Right? That spreads out. Yeah. Hmm. The spread on it's like fucking ten feet. Or they yeah. could be lying. I don't know. That's what I'll be doing. I know a couple of people are like, yeah, I fucking killed. I'm like, this... Seems like it would be the hardest thing in the world, and you're just walking in and 100%. lighting it up. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's like Frisbee golf. Um, shout out to Burt Kreischer, big Frisbee golf guy. Is he? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. They were him on the tour bus. Oh, he did? Yeah, they were like sitting on the... On I didn't the, see him. Yeah. Um, uh, all right, here. Let's see here. This one's from Seth. Uh, have you or anyone in your family ever ran yourself over with a four-wheeler? Like, gone over the handlebars and had it run over you. 
That was one of the original questions. Did you know anybody that was injured in an ATV? Oh, accident? really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> man. I was. I, 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 uh, I fell off one pretty bad. It scared the fucking shit out of me. Uh-uh. My boys had these 125cc quad runners, they were called. They were like Hondas or something. And we rode a lot, like, as kids. Um, Where? In so, your mom's neighborhood? No, oh no, no, no. He lived he lived in like one of those like Toll Brother developments. Yeah. So when it backed up to like the woods. Rail like yeah, like you know, railroad or whatever. It was like small. It was like And you would just take him right out in the backyard? Yeah. Jesus. Cops come, you fucking gotta hide out somewhere. You're fat ass. <laughs> I'm gunning it. <laughs> Just holding on to the bag. He get off of me, man. I flip my cousin. My dad's a lawyer. I flip my cousin's ATV. Sideways or backwards? Sideways. I went Lear- backwards. Learned a harsh lesson about leaning. Oh yeah, you gotta lean into it, <laughs> even when you feel like you shouldn't. Uh, we were doing these things. They call like I guess they're called hill climbs. Where like you, it's like a steep hill. And you like fucking gun it and go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen the videos. So they all did it, and like they, it was him and his brother. Then they had their quads, like that. They were their quads, and I was just on like their their other one. Yeah, I like, assume they weren't little, little fat pieces of shit. Nah, not really. Uh, but they knew what they were doing, and they're like, yeah, just fucking, you know, when you get it, there's like a system because it was like a quick like scooper, like right up. Um, oh, I never would have done that. It was like a spine. You know what I mean? Like a spine ramp. And he was like, you got to punch it. If you punch it in the wrong spot, you're going to fucking. <laughs> Dude, it was one of those things where like everything got quiet. And I'm in the air. Like I fucking, I punched at the wrong time. And Could have I am... killed yourself. Oh, dude, I am for sh- I am full blown in the air. Just like, oh. Uh... Like. <laughs> I can dude. see a little bowl cut. Oh, dude. Stop. Probably have like a milk mustache. <laughs> going. I, got, I, got, I got fruit punch. <laughs> dude, and I start slowly getting out. And it hit me like this. Fuck, dude. Like, this sucks, man. And I fucking, dude. And it fell. I, cause you, can, you don't have like momentum to get away from it. You know what I mean? So I'm on it. And they're like, let go. So I let go. And I land, and it lands, and thank God it landed on its. They had the what are they, what are they called like uh, fender rack, like it had a rack on it, which kind of prevented it from like it fell like the quad fell upwards. You know what Crushing I mean? Crushing your large pubescent <laughs> skull. <laughs> Crushing my little wee wee. <sighs> yeah, I dude, and I remember I was like one of those things where you like immediately want to call your mom. <laughs> Maybe like I'm so sorry for everything I've ever done. <laughs> I promise I won't eat in bed anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Now nah, I got the it was the perfect timing for the fear of those things to be put into us where we wouldn't even go near them. Cause it was in the eighties, like one in two kids were getting killed on those things. Yeah. Because they had just kind of come out and they were dangerous as shit. They hadn't worked out the balance the of kinks, them yeah. and the this and the that and they, they still still hadn't worked out the kinks. And some poor kid got really, really hurt in our neighborhood on one. Mm-hmm. Nope. Never yeah. went near them. I was always uh, afraid of like shit. Like I was never like the crazy one of like, let's fucking you no. know, try to do wheelies or whatever. I was just like good at cruising. When, like the, it would snow. We'd be like, all right, let's fucking take the quads and we'll go like build a snowboard ramp on the hill. Low and slow, baby. Yeah, cruise. You know what I mean? Take yeah. a look. No thanks. That was the best part of it. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Home run of a fucking question. Yeah, Kippy, you know about Mint Mobile? Love Mint Mobile, baby. I'm a client. That's right. Mint Mobile. Shout out to him, gang. What are you doing paying high prices for phone service? 15 bucks a month with Mint Mobile. Mm-hmm. No contracts, no fees, no hidden this, no hidden that. A lot of people say to me, they come up to me and the street and say, hey, fatty, but what's the catch? I say, there is no catch. They pass the savings right on you because it's all done online over there at Mint Mobile. Yeah, guys. Uh, like I've like I've said a million times at this point, Mint's been a long time supporter of us, and my wife has been using Mint Mobile since before this podcast even started. That's how my, that's how big of a fan we are over there at the Ryan residence. There you go. For anyone who hates their phone bill, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just fifteen bucks a month. Mint Mobile gives you the best rate whether you're buying one one or a family, and Mint Mint. The family started two lines. They know what they're doing. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. 
Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep the same number along with your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile to get premium wireless service started at just $15 a month. Here's the turkey. Get premium wireless, 15 bucks a month with no unexpected plot twist at mintmobile.com slash garbage. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Seriously, you'll make your wallet very happy. Mintmobile.com slash garbage. Do it. Kip, let's talk about that established titles one more time, baby. You mean the best in the biz? Yeah, you're talking to a couple lords of garbage right here, gang. Oh, yeah. When you buy just as little as one square foot of Scottish Woodlands over there, everyone's got to call you a lord or a lady. They send you a certificate. It's a good time. You can tell your boss to go fuck himself. Call me a lord. What are we doing here? Yeah, it don't matter if you work at Target, Burger King, yeah. anywhere. You are a MF and Lord daddy -o. How great would it be the next time you get pulled over by the cheese on the highway? Yeah. Hey, do you know how fast I was going? I don't know. Talk to my lady. That's what I would say. <laughs> Guys, the first 200 people purchase a title pack using our link will effectively be next to our plots. Within a, few walking, within a few minutes of walking, let's be knaves. Yeah. Free to land to trash. Well, you borrow little, my cannon sometimes. Uh, our own little kingdom out there, baby. Uh, here's the cheese. Established titles running a Black Friday sale. Plus, if you use the code garbage, you'll get an Additional 10%. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash garbage. You get your gifts now and help support the channel, baby. One more time. EstablishedTitles.com slash garbage. Do it. Now back to the show. I have Sorry. a quick one for you, fellas. I'm Please. listening. When you put your deodorant on after getting out of the shower, okay. do you put your shirt on first or after? Uh, That's weird. What do you do? I put the, my deodorant on first. Never. I, you put your shirt on first. Yeah, because it gets on your shirt. Why do you want it on your shirt? I don't want it on my shirt. <laughs> what are you talking about? If you put it on first, and then you put it gets on. It can get on the sides of on the exterior of your shirt. Oh, I use clear deodorant. I yeah, but sometimes it still shows. And I just don't want to do it. No, never. I also use white deodorant. That's crazy. That's crazy too. Well, I also use a alarming amount of really uh, yeah to the point where i did it one time the fact that you use antiperspirant is crazy that's what you use you, you use deodorant antiperspirant what's that antiperspirant is different you don't know this i do antiperspirant no, I just keeps use, you from sweating yeah i use dove i don't think it's antiperspirant it wouldn't be white it wouldn't just be it wouldn't be white if it was if it was just deodorant i'm pretty sure no but because it's the girl's deodorant i don't think it's any i don't think it's and antiperspirant most, i know what you mean most girls deodorant is antiperspirant dove. antiperspirant Deodorant. That's what we're doing. It's a combo. It has them both in there. I think Not it's supposed dope. to use that shit either. It's no good for you. Yeah. Deodorant masks odor while an antiperspirant reduces how much sweat. The antiperspirant contains the aluminum. Uh, the aluminum. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm cool with it then. I don't care. Well, that's why. Smoke cigs for fucking 20 years. That's why you're putting uh, the shirt on. No. Out of the shower. Get toweled off dry. Use the blow dryer. Get, we know. Get we every know, part, right. every crevice, every valley. Then deodorant. So, so, so nothing starts up. I don't want nothing cooking. Do my spray, my gold bond spray. Then start getting dressed. No, I go shirt. And then what do you do? I just switched. What were you? I was, a, I was in a, a shirt on guy. Uh -huh. And but then, then I, you'd reach under and. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I, but then I kept catching the sides of the shirt. You get the weird. I was like. Where, where's all this chalk coming from or whatever? Sure. Yeah, because I had, I had to, got jammed up, bought some white deodorant. Never do it. Gotta Never. Get the clear. Never. Always. It was all over the shirt. So now I'm Yeah, gonna... but what brand, are, what brand are you using? I use Old Spice. I also use Old Spice. Yeah, but sometimes you catch a bad batch of that. I used it for a long time, too, where it's like super alcohol-y. It's because it's, that's alcohol-based or something. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Two more Old Spice, please. Old Spice and soda. I'll catch a bad fuck. It feels like someone hit me with a blowtorch under there. I like oh, react. I react poorly. Oh, to it. you have sensitive skin. A little burn. Oh, buddy. It's Mary. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Flipping ATVs. Can't handle. At least I was man theater. enough to get on the horse. All right. Hey, I'll give you that. Um, I was smart. You ever use the gel? Remember when the gel was popular? That stuff sucked. Oh, that speed stick. Ugh. Might as well have been using fucking glue. Yeah, that shit that was shit nasty, stunk, dude. That was nasty. But I remember putting on deodorant, and my boy Pat goes, what are you doing? And I think how much, well, how, and I was like, I'm putting deodorant. He goes, that's, he goes, that's crazy. Like, I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think, yeah, to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's okay. It, no, maybe that, that seemed too short. 
I go a little bit longer. It's a lot. I it's go a, a little lot. bit I longer, I ruin too. shirts. I go longer, too, because I have more surface area to cover. Sure. I got to make sure I get out here. I can't just Oh, you got to get bit. down here, too, as a bigger guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. I'm a fat piece of shit. You don't want to be stinking. Nah, it's, I, used to have, dude, I used to have a stick in my car. So, like, if I never get jammed up, you know what I mean? I never got that B.O. smell. Okay. Now it takes a, now it takes a long time, like... I'll get like a I'll get like a funky smell before I get like the hoagie smell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Never, I've never really gotten that. Well, I knew kids in high school that. Whew, man, the high school, your your body's changing, you're figuring stuff <sighs> out. Walking around smelling like a Greek salad. Brutal. <laughs> never got it. Never got it. <laughs> Not much of a man though. Uh, did I? I think I, was, I think I had to tell the story where I wore the. The hoodie that had been in the wash too long, and it took me to like third period. You know how so it smells like mold or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Kicking like a fish tank. So I'm like, it. I'm like, I smelled it on the bus or the call. Like you know what I mean? But like I was like, oh, it's clearly not me. Whatever it is, I was sitting in fucking social studies or something, and I was like, I the kid behind the kid in front of me, AJ, is like, the fuck, and I'm like, oh, this is bad. <laughs> and you're doing that thing. And then you're like, nah, oh, it's not bad. And you're like, oh, this is, I'm j-. and it's a whole thing. It's not like you even spilled something or it's in the pits. The whole thing's fucking ingratiated. So. Who's been eating turtle? <laughs> Needless to say, I ran down to the gym and got somebody's fucking axe body spray out of the locker Woo! room. Talk about a lifesaver. <laughs> I was walking back. Man. Static. Dog. That stuff had its place in time, didn't it? Yeah, after Multi- blunts. Multi-use. Yeah, a week. Shout out to it. Man, that stuff would be cold on your underarms, too. <laughs> Hachi machi. That was mostly Freon. <laughs> I know. Any purse burn and fucking Freon spray. <laughs> and glycerol. Putting that down on your nuts. That'll fucking sting. <laughs> we used to do a thing in high school where you take the bottle of Axe body spray, put like a bead or some type of ball on top, and then tape it so it was like spraying like uh-huh, a smoke like grenade. A, and then, and then roll it down into yeah. a room and hold it close. <laughs> Damn, that's fucking awesome. Shit, I wish I would have done that. That'll ruin a day. We did that with stink bombs back in the day. The little glass stink bombs. They were a good time. Throw those in the hallway. You know, the hallways in in, in schools that, like, you know, they were, like, column hallways. Stairs. Stairs, yeah, yeah. Not a hallway, but sure. Oh, yeah, stairs. Sorry. (laughs) You know the things that aren't hallways? You just forgot stairs. Yeah, man. I don't know what they're called. This guy's in quicksand today. (laughs) Throw one of those down there. Yeah. Get everybody. Be halfway on the bus. Smoke bombs were a good time, too. Really? As a kid? When were you doing? Not in school. Oh, oh the okay. fuck's that Columbine? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Because back in the day, they did do those. They do cherry bombs and all that stuff. Cherry bombs? Cherry bombs are like, uh, give give a cherry bomb a Google. I'm not, it's a, kind of like, like an M80. They would blow up the toilets in the 50s and shit with them. Yeah, I mean, I don't. They flush cherry. Was, yeah. They flush cherry bombs down the toilet. Yeah, I mean, you get in proper trouble if you blow up a toilet. I think that'd be a felony at this point. Yeah, yeah, right, T Bone. Yeah, it, they're illegal now. But what's the water? Oh, a cherry bomb. It's like a firecracker. Yeah, like an M80. I know what they are. M80s. What's the wattage? Are, every M80s are heavy. We bike. used to go down. To, my dad would go down to South Carolina every year. And come back with, fuck. I mean, we went, we would just fucking, damn, he, then the one year he came back with ones that had waterproof wicks, damn, was a good time. What are you, a frogman? Oh, man, we were just throwing them in the water. Attacking fucking, the harbor? Oh, uh, it was great, dude. Dude, M80s. Really I saw. Good time. I know exactly what you're about. I've lit about 10,000 of them in my life, yeah. We had, our, our college dorms were quads, and there was, uh, there was three floors, and there was trouble in one of the things. Trouble in the well. And they sent uh, the security guards were walking through the quad and somebody threw a couple M80s like out their third floor window at the security guys. Dude, like right next to this dude's head. Just boom, boom, boom. It's like dude, everybody hit the ground, especially in a quad, too. Like that echo. Yeah. Woo! Yikes. No bueno. Dicey. But those smoke bombs were a good time. The different colors, the little yeah, the round blue, jobs. the whatever. You get them at flea markets. Yeah. Shout out to Rice's flea market. We'd always be Tuesdays we were, and Saturdays. We were puffing smoke in Nam, looking for an extraction, uh-huh. playing war in the woods. I knew I was going to be smoking Bernies for a long time. I was going to have a love affair with heaters because uh, we used to fake those smoke, smoke those fake cigs, not even the candy cigarettes. They used to sell actual 
fake cigarettes with like a red tin foil on the end. They used them in high school plays and shit. You blow out looks like smoke. Yeah, they had oh, like uh, yeah. some sort of chemical for sure. It wasn't organic. And you would we would get them at Party City. And just we would take our bikes, we ride up to Party City, get like a they were like two packs or three packs and just fucking cruise around smoking fake heaters. <laughs> Till I got my hands on the real thing. Wow. God, Jesus. A couple guys on the pegs, a side cart, couldn't tell me nothing. <laughs> Pack of stingers. That's crazy. Candy cigarettes is one thing with the bubble gum. It was the 90s, dude. My dad was a heater man. My stepdad was a heater. His dad before him was a heater man. I fucking earned my keep out there. Damn. Not smoking. One either. of those hanging in your mouth as you flip the ATV. <laughs> 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 All right, this one's from uh, Chaumpi, uh, $38 homie here. There you go. Don't understand that. It's got to be a withdrawal. Yeah, thirty. he's probably a $5 homie with the $35 overdraft fee. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. There's $33 overdraft fee. Um, you don't get that at Navy Federal. What? I don't think there's overdraft fees. There's got to be. I would assume. I yeah? Mean, that's, that, that's how banks hmm. live and die by the overdraft. That's where they make, like, a large chunk of their money in really? retail banking, yeah. I ever get your rocks off as a kid and tugged your route to National Geographic? Sure. Yeah, I don't 100%. know. Percent. I don't know. We would only ever see those at school or the doctors. We had a we had a collection of them. I don't know where my, my parents got them, but that was hot. Were you an encyclopedia family? Sure. Really? Encyclopedia. Yep. Whoa. Yeah, we had them. We had them. The Britannicas or whatever. We didn't have Britannica. It was some off brand. <laughs> Yeah, it was something. It was like Earl's. <laughs> Earl's encyclopedia. <laughs> but yeah, we had a, we had a whole set of those. Oh, Maybe yeah. missing a couple. Yeah, you guys were a, a, B, and C. Yeah, had the rest on layaway. I remember, I remember plagiarizing those things down to the commas and the periods for uh, uh, what are they called? Book reports. Yeah, um, big time. Yeah, I don't think we ever... Uh, you catch a boob or two in there, too, one of them. An encyclopedia? Yeah. Yeah, very clinical. Yeah. Under it's teeth okay. titties. <laughs> <laughs> Big set of cans. <laughs> Under K for knockers. <laughs> Let's go. But no, National Geographic, 100%. Yeah, no, we just... That was something that was like, we never got our fucking hands on that. I never saw that shit. Yeah. I mean, like, you would see, like, you know... Uh, we also I also had a bunch of female girl cousins who all they had all the cosmos like I mean all of them yeah, I remember reading on how to give a good blow job at 11 <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you boys man pulling your root to those were whoosh. I mean some of those photo shoots were pretty risque also at the time because now you can see whatever whenever Especially in the 80s you'd have like a little silk cover and a little nip something like that it was there you know it was there but oh, you need it but that way you could you could get charged up off way less because you were there was no exposure to anything else. You know no. what I mean? So it was like a girl in a bathing suit. That's why like Maxim Magazine, that was all pre-internet porn. Yeah. So like Maxim get... Magazine, you're like. Whoa. Yeah. Now I got to hit this thing with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's got to be real I dirty. Need, I need the neighbor. I, oh, everybody's got to yeah. get Somebody put a cantaloupe in something. Yeah. The party don't start till the butthole starts opening up. Yeah. <laughs> I need to see a prolapse. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> this one's in the same world. This is from Jack Vandalay. Have you ever used Cliff Notes as an adult? That's I could never. I was always fascinated by Cliff Notes. My sister had a one set. You would hear it. It would be like jokes on like Saved by the Bell or Step I by Step. I never understood what it was. I go, why, I why is anybody then reading anything if you got the... My sister had... I remember seeing it. It was black and yellow. Yeah. I always thought a cliffhanger every time I heard of Cliff's Notes. Yeah, I didn't get it. I still don't fully get it. It just gives you a synopsis of the book. That and Mad I, Libs, I never really quite understood. Oh, man, I remember laughing at Mad Libs. <laughs> my buddy Matt had a book, and I was like, this is <laughs> the... I am the funniest... Like, because it goes, give me a noun, and you're like, Doritos, give me a doc, give me a verb, doc, you know, whatever. And then you read that thing, man, as an eight-year-old with no phone, no internet, no TV. That's a good time. I didn't know where you got Cliff Notes. Either I, I think I asked it. my mom a couple of times to get him, but she, no, you're not cheating, Terry. Get get out of here. <laughs> she just ended up doing the book report at nine o'clock that night anyway, while I was watching Airwolf. Yeah. So <laughs> you should have just got me the Cliff Notes, lady. The dumb broad is for you. <laughs> 
Hey, save yourself six hours. Today, Junior, let's go. I got Night Court coming on in 20 minutes, honey. What are we doing here? Let's go. What are you going to not let me do it? Get out of here. Yeah. I was. uh. No, I never had my mom would not. My mom would be like, go face your consequences. Got like, I guess she knew like they, the grades didn't necessarily, you know, fifth grade. It was, did though. No, it didn't. didn't matter. I mean, where you get placed, your fourth grade. If you're, you lose what ten points, they're not going to give you a fucking zero for it. Sure, you know. Yeah, I always kind of knew that. To so be she, honest with you, yeah. Me. So my mom's like, go face the consequences and tell him you don't have it. Like that's more of a life lesson of like. Being accountable, hmm. which you could still use. <laughs> um, yeah, we swept that under the rug. Yeah. We were like the Kennedys back in the day. Um, this one's from Jordan. Uh, are you garbage? Have you ever fist fought a clown because he scared your little brother? I like that. That's real dirtbag shit, and I respect I like that. it. I like well, that. Yeah, why don't you pick on someone your own size, pussy? Yeah. You really go after it's it. enough with the pranks and the clowns and the this and the that. I do like a haunted house, though. Like what you know, where the really? actors are. Oh, I love that. It's a good time. Love Halloween, man. It's the best. We I, we went to one. It was called. Uh, it was like a Civil War, uh, old Civil War base in like Dover, Delaware, or something. We drove down to in like, like sixth or seventh grade, and I had you know it was scary. There was like it was like you know theater school kids or you know college kids. You didn't know that, though. Man, this guy was painted white, and he had dreadlocks, and he was walking around, and he he was scaring you in the line before you even got into the fucking event. He lit up one of your fake cigarettes. <laughs> oh, nothing to see here, buddy. I need a sink to calm my nerves, get my head on straight before I go in here. But, man, that's the idea. Now, I, I'm a big jumper. I get, I get jolted. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm a jumpy man. Yeah, that stuff's no way bueno. though. That uh, scare you. I love uh, being scared though. I hate it. Oh, I'll fall. I'll get into like an Instagram hole and like looking at like what's scaring you on Instagram. They have like you know videos of like UFOs and like you know paranormal activity and haunted things. Ooh, Ooh. I don't know if I can trust anything on Instagram. Hmm. You know what they get you is the fake audio. It's it it's different audio than what's in the thing. You know enough about audio to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Or you're like, this This is this surveillance camera didn't have Toby surround sound or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you can tell it doesn't match up. Uh, Although I do believe in that stuff. What? That th- Those kind of like ghost videos. The one that Sal and Chris just posted looked pretty scary. I, it's, it's a lady walking by. I know, it's the it's fakest gotta, video yeah. I've they ever seen. They said nobody was there. That's what oh. people would say. It, listen, if it was just posted online, that's one thing. Sal said that a friend of of those two girls, who he's friends with, they also said there her. was weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. People wanted to get what they want. They Sal refused. didn't need nothing to do with that. I don't know. It could have been a big prank. <laughs> <laughs> Sal and the boys are in uh, Colin Powell's ear. <laughs> now tell them there's weapons. <laughs> Hold up the little jar. Hold up the little jar. <laughs> Shout out to Hey Babe. Yeah. Shout out to that Sal Volcano, Chrissy D, that, uh, the whole No Pressure Network. Homeless yeah. Pimp. Bumped into Homeless Pimp the other day. Me too. He's a good man. He's a good man. He's a good man, that pimpy. It's all right. Um, right. Let's see here. This is from David Smith. Do you say else instead of else? Anyone else? I think I might throw a T in there. Anyone else? Like, Anyone else? Else, else. El- I don't, it's not else. I don't say that. Else, uh, maybe I dropped the e. Anyone else? Else, else. Yeah, uh, it's pretty good. That's pretty trash. Else, what? Else is pretty trash. Else is trash. Or do you say alls in place of all that? As in alls, I'm trying to say. Alls, I'm trying to say. Yeah. Alls, I'm trying to say. Yeah, I think. All, I say what that. are you supposed to say? All that I'm trying to say. All that I'm trying to say is, all I'm trying to say is, yeah, all. Like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds right. Yeah, I feel like a glove that did. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> all I'm trying. Okay, all I'm saying all's. is, all I'm saying. Yeah, I I've said it before, but my buddy, his family used to say everywheres, anywheres. I, I can't find my glove anywheres. I assume this is the family that had the ATVs. 
No, no, different family, huh. different family. I had more than one friend, unlike you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just remember that was like I was like, what in the? F-? I remember going home. I would go home and like dish to my mom. Like, you see what these like? You get a load of these. This I thought we were fucked up. These people are nuts. <laughs> go home and give her a big hug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry to do my book report. <laughs> I think I told you that on the beach. My cousins. It was like the first time I stayed at the. I was with my cousins. What? Cousins. Cousins is bad. Cousins. Cousins is bad. Jeez. My cousins. You fucking walked right into that. My dude. cousins are real trash. My cousins. Can't find my cousins anywhere. Have you I'll seen my everywhere. cousins? Cousin. Yeah. My cousin. 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 I say cousin. My, my cousin. cousin. Two of my cousins. Two of my cousins. <laughs> there was Z in there too, I think. <laughs> Cousins. Man, I'm what French. are what are we? <laughs> I don't know, but you talk like alphabet soup. <laughs> my cousins. I get mush mouths over here. Going to my cousins for Christmas. <sighs> Man, he can't find his perks anywhere. <laughs> 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 Gotta go help my cousins look for his Percocets. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know. He stole them two weeks ago. <laughs> Plot twist. I'm never going to find them. <laughs> hey, bu- hey, buddy. Yeah, you believe bed, that? <laughs> uh, Ooh. Uh, I've done that. I've joined a search party for drugs that I had taken. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> that you stole? <laughs> what a dirtbag. He got the lantern out. <laughs> hey, wherever, whatever you do, don't check my bloodstream, huh, boys? Oh, man, you dirtbag. <sighs> That's fucked up that somebody would take that, man. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that. But I definitely... Uh, I definitely will take... Uh, I'm looking... I'm taking a peek at your medicine cabinet. Even now, I probably will. If I'm using your bathroom, I'm taking a peek. Hmm. I don't. Uh, pharmaceuticals never really did it for me. Sure. So it's like I don't even. I don't even have that. Uh, that yeah. impulse. But I would take a peek just to see. I was what's allergic what. to the the painkillers. Yikes! Kids at home, it's never in the medicine cabinet. You want to check under the sink. Of course. Or maybe a broken ankle eighteen months ago. Sure, but then uh, again, yeah. yeah maybe, no, maybe, kids, <laughs> don't do. Drug seeking behavior, it's bad. Look at the you know you want to be like these two idiots. <laughs> Has anyone had a root canal recently? <laughs> no, of course, of course. Stay away Where from Where my you. dentist at, huh? But yeah, then you can't you can't you start looking under the sink and in the closet. I mean, you're one step away from going through the drawers. Sure. You take a, a gentleman takes a peek in the medicine cabinet. No, he doesn't. If something comes up Same in your Same guy who doesn't pay the last month's rent. <laughs> If something comes up in your favor, well, that's just the way the universe went. You can't start rooting around. What do you call going through the medicine cabinet? I peek. I'm looking for dental floss. I got chicken stuck in my tooth. I don't know. You didn't have dinner yet. <laughs> I had a sandwich before I came. I, had a sandwich in the car. <laughs> I didn't want to eat too much. Be that as it may, I'll lock the door and run the water like a gentleman. Take a little whoo, quick nah, peek. No, nah, no, nah, don't do that. That's, of course, that's don't in, do that's that. That's in poor taste. Of course, of course. Um, all right. You let's... really want to check the nightstand? <laughs> I mean, you want to? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that got a little too real and too sad. You want to? You want to check the nightstand? But you. Don't. I remember, and I think I remember. Just yeah, that was that was every day. We were like we were like we worked at Scotland Yard. That's all we did was root through. Each of our friends' houses. Yeah, we did that from a lot. top when you're to like bottom. Twelve or thirteen or whatever. You're looking for porn or every something. anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. something, weed. something to take back to the bosses. I know something <laughs> to kick up. <laughs> something to kick up to kick up to the big men. You know what I mean? It, it, dude, it didn't matter. It was it was just so interesting. Whatever. Oh, she's got this. Your mom does this. It, any, it didn't matter anything. We we went through the whole entire house. We found. I mean, my one body's house found it. Everything. Shit you don't want to see. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Drugs, money. Drugs, whips, change, handguns. It's crazy. Yeah. That was just my mom's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding, mom. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. This is from MV. Why? Whatever. Bunch of letters. Uh, first time, long time. Ever put dryer sheets in your shoes while wearing them to prevent the smell when going to someone's house where you can't wear shoes? 
Not a great idea. I wish I would have thought of it that. It doesn't. I've done it a bunch. It doesn't work. I've used cologne. That's the worst. That creates a must that you can't shake. Now, as a modern person, as an adult, I like wearing, I like no socks in a fresh pair of sneakers. I know. I think that's, it's bad. I think, I think it's nice because you know you're being naughty. You shouldn't be doing it. No. I do it and I'm like, this is bad, but I don't care. It feels I'm so gonna be good. I'm going to a little naughty kippy today. I used to, my sophomore year of lacrosse in college, I played How'd every, here? I, I played every game with no socks. I never wore socks. That's yeah, different. It's sports. A lot of athletes don't wear socks. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. It makes you feel faster. And I love no socks, but. It's this, the, 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 you get like How about a, walking through the drive through now? You get like a couple of weeks out of them. Oh, yeah, really. I mean, the first time you do it is them. absolutely no longer the same shoe. I don't care if it's the first thing the, you've before you even try them on. It's they're no longer the same shoe the second you do that. Hundred um, yeah, percent. I did tough. it. It's not good. My boy Flip used to. We lived together for like whatever eight years or something like that. He used to put them in the freezer. His sneakers. Yeah. And would that, he, would that, he wear them with no shoes? With no, with no socks. socks? No, but I also think ba- in His college... feet just kicked? In college, socks were a problem. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, they weren't... You couldn't just Amazon new socks. Like, and then if you're living with a, a room full of dudes, or like a house full of dudes... You're stealing everybody's socks. Dude, I remember... I fucking shout out to my boy, Eddie, who came to the Orlando show. You were like the really good looking kid. Okay. Um, uh, shout out to Eddie Spaghetti. He fucking... I was doing my laundry. We were living at Temple. I, was, I did my laundry, and it was on the couch. Like, because I guess the laundry was down the bed, wherever the fuck it was. My stuff was on the couch. Like, I folded it on the couch. It was sitting there, and I had one pair of socks that I'm like, all right, I'm gonna put. Th- I'm gonna go shower, put these on, then go to class. Is all I had. I washed my only pair of socks, and this fucking dirt bag had come home or whatever, saw my pair of socks, and f- took the like, put them on, and then went to class. I chased them down the fucking street. I'm like, you fucking piece of shit. Let me see your fucking... Are they Adidas? Let me see them. I'm about, dude. He's like, no, nah, man, I, didn't. I thought they were... Mine. I'm like, they were... Oh, yeah. man, it was like... That was a part of my net worth. Fuck a security deposit. Your socks were like currency in, in your 20s. Ah, oh, that's a good time. Things weren't going great That's back a good then. time. But I've gotten into that habit of wearing them with no... Especially when I'm running out of the, running out of the apartment to grab something or take the trash out or whatever. Sure, walk Slide the dog. In. I do a lot, just dude. Slip them in. It's no good. I just had to when we left here on uh, Friday. Uh, we were doing something in the city, and my feet would I kicking, just, dude. I just went and bought a new pair of shoes. And gave them. The, I was like, "Just throw these out." They were like, "What?" And then the guy You're having the guy at the counter throw the shoes out. Yeah, yeah I wore them out. All right, but you take the old shoes out. No, I gave him the box. I put no, the you shoe- go throw that out. That's not their job to throw out your dirty. I said, here, can you throw this out? Can yeah, you get no, rid of this? Yeah, no, that's really yeah, that's, that's that's in poor taste. How many people do you think did that that day? None. You shouldn't be the only guy asking him to throw. Dude, to be at a point where you got to throw out your current. There's shoes. no trash can in there. Where? In the store. Yeah, you take them out with you. And you, that's your responsibility. Wait a your minute. Your dirty wait shoes minute, are your responsibility. Back this up. What, so what happens if you wear the shoes out? I've done this. What do you mean? You, you go in and buy a pair of sneakers. You wear the shoes out. Yeah. What do you do with the other, your other sneakers? You put them in the new box. Put them in the and new box. And take them with you. And take them with you. What if you're going to throw, throw them, out, them out? Throw them out in the street. That's really? your responsibility. You're giving someone your shoes you don't even want anymore because they smell so bad. <laughs> that's just... To me, that's not. Oh, really? Yeah, no. I do it on your, that's that. your responsibility. I, huh. thought it, I thought it was a nice tip. Yeah. You can smell them if you want. <laughs> All keep, the whiffs you need. Keep the laces if you'd like. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't get near anything else. Yeah, no. Really? That's just how I feel, how I operate as a person of like, that's your mess. Take huh. Take your mess with you. So I'm a dirt ball. I, I mean, yeah, I've, I've hmm. been pretty vocal about that over the past <laughs> couple of years. Uh, yeah, I would say next time you're jammed up, that's a youth. That's your, hmm. that's your mess. You okay. I mean? All right. I see your point. Mm-hmm. I see your point. Um, all right. Let's do one more. Then we got a ripper up here. This is from Trash Compactor. Ever use your pet as a napkin? 
I guess you got like Dorito dust on it. You give him a shimmy. I get it. Yeah. I get it. I don't. I just. I mean, I just got a pup, but I don't think so. I don't mm. think I have. Now, kind of like that dog. That dog smell. Yeah, it's like whatever's on there is food. I don't want to trade. Then you have food. You have like Dorito dust and dog my clothes, hair. of course. My pants, my shirt. Yeah, my shirt does everything. People, a lot of people do the jeans. The inside, like the pockets of your jeans. Oh or the yeah, back of your legs. Like sure. That. Back of my knees, I'll put. I'll put if if I sneeze and like a, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You you yeah, also ninety percent phlegm. Some egg white hits the hits the my and, hand. And you also that'll go right that'll go right back behind my hand, and I'll I'll squeeze my leg, and then give it a. You also sneeze like an old man. Just full open palm right into your hand. Yeah. Yeah. You also sneeze like you swallowed a cherry bomb, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are violent. I know. They feel, ah! so, they, <laughs> they feel so good. It sounds like you're doing karate. <laughs> uh, we got to wrap right. it up. Gang, we love you to death. Thank you for everything. Hey, do yourself a favor. As we said, make sure you pick up. Your set of cards there because they're going away. They're going bye bye. They might be gone by the time this comes out. So don't get your hopes up. If there are some, pick some up. Act now, gang. Jump on a Patreon. Subscribe on a YouTube. Go over there to the iTunes. Subscribe over there. Give us a review. The whole nine yards. You know what to do. You're the army of garbage. Mm -hmm. We love you. And we'll see you next week. Peace.